Shocked we were able to get anything with these stores looking like they do. Work it, make it, do it, makes us honor, better, faster, stronger. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name's Nicole. If you are new, thanks so much for stopping by. I have a grocery haul for y'all today. We did the Walmart online grocery pickup. We also did a little quick pickup from Sam's Club for some essentials. And then also went into Whole Foods for just a few things because they were legit wiped out. I don't know when they're gonna get back in stock, but my store said they hadn't had a truck in over a week and a half, yikes. I also have an Imperfect Foods order coming, but it is delayed due to everything as well. So make sure to follow me on Instagram Instagram. I'll pop my handle up right here because I'm going to post the haul there. And I will have a link in the description box that will get you $10 off your first order with Imperfect Foods. But if you want to see what I picked up, definitely follow me over on Instagram so you can see what we got since it's a little delayed. But let me take it down to the counter and show you what we did pick up from Walmart, Sam's Club, and Whole Foods. We did the Walmart online grocery pickup and the Sam's Club grocery pickup as well. We didn't get much from Sam's. We spent about, I think it was like $35, $38 with what you see here. So the boys have been loving this Too Good yogurt that comes with six vanilla, six strawberry. This is keto friendly. I think this is limited if it's like what they did last year and they only have it for a couple of months in the beginning of the year and then they take it away. I hope not because they are loving it and I love that option for my kids. And if they love it, hex to the yes. Great price and buying it singly at Walmart. I got the boys some Dave's Killer Bread. This is the good seed. I don't think we've tried this one. They like the white bread done right, of course, because it's basically white bread. This does have a little bit more sugar than I like. The Little Big Bread by Silver Hills is really good. You can find that at Target and at Whole Foods. But my boys are hit or miss on that. Like sometimes they'll eat it, sometimes they won't. This is a better option than your regular bread. So I chose this and this is such a great deal over at Sam's versus buying it at Walmart, Whole Foods, anywhere. I got some veggies, uh, veggies, I got some fruit, girl. I got a, a very wasted. I love the raspberries from Sam's Club. They last so long, much longer than other stores. I got some blueberries. This is a huge pack of them. I hope they last because I don't eat a ton per day, but I love fresh blueberries. I have a ton of frozen that we actually picked from a local friend here, but I love fresh and a lot of my things that I eat on a daily basis. Got some blackberries. All the stores around me have been out. This is Trey's choice. So instead of getting grapes for him, I got a big thing of the Driscoll's blackberries. And also Baby Bella mushrooms. You can't beat the price over at Sam's. And we have been flying through some mushrooms, something fierce. So that is everything we got at Sam's Club. Just a little quick run in for some things that we needed until our next monthly haul. Now at Walmart, we only had one substitution and one out of stock. And this was about 80 bucks, which you see here. I was so happy they had the happy eggs. They are organic. And what you want to get guys is pasture raised and organic is the best top of the line but don't worry about anything else unless it says pasture raised. You might as well get the regular ones if not. And I love these happy eggs. I swear they taste better than the Vital Farms. I know crazy, but so many of y'all are trying these and saying the exact same thing. And I know I just hauled a bunch of these if you watch my grocery hauls on a daily or on a weekly basis, but we are down to two dozen. That's it because we are flying through them. Everybody was home because of the polar vo vortex and we were eating lots of stuff. So that's why we needed some more. We are totally out of bagels. I was stocking up. Up on the ones from Whole Foods that were on that last chance, but we are out now. And the boys do love the Dave's Killer Bread Cinnamon Raisin Remix ones better than your traditional bagel. Got a bunch of bananas for Waylon. I'm glad that they gave me green ones so they'll last throughout the week. This was my only substitution. I asked for the half Brussels sprouts. I'd like the shaved ones from Whole Foods, but again, they had nothing. So I just got these and I can cut them up myself is just fine. Got some Sargento Sharp Cheddar Cheese for the hubby. Also got myself some Carpini egg thins. I'm totally out of these. Y'all ask me all the time where you can find these at Walmart. I only have bought these in a grocery pickup. So I think they're by the eggs though, because when I've passed by, I'm pretty sure I've seen them in the egg section and that's where you can get them. And they're much cheaper anywhere else that I've seen. I've hauled this minced garlic before. This is the one by Great Value and Extra Virgin Olive Oil. Like that one, out and needed another. Happy that they had the white American cheese for Trey's Keto Queso. I always have that in the iCards above that recipe. I'll ask all the time about that one too. It's there. Check it out. Super delicious and easy. That's a weekly staple for us. Now, something we were totally out of and I haven't hauled in a long time are the Kashi Ripe Strawberry Bars. Trey and Waylon both love these. If you're looking for like a Nutri-Green 
better, healthier replacement because the Nutrigrain bars are not good at all. I know they promote that they're healthy, but they're not. This one is way better and the ingredients are much cleaner and it's about the same price. So switch over to this one is a good option if your kids like Nutrigrain bars, switch to this one, it's a little bit better. Got a bunch of frozen stuff. So Whole Foods did not have the dark sweet cherries that I bought last time and I'm legit obsessed on my carb up days. They are so good. I love cherries prior to keto and happy to have them back in my life on my carb up days and they're so, so good and good for you too. But they had this huge two pound bag for like $8 and some change. So check out your Walmart because they have great veggie and fruit options and organic too for the price. Speaking of, we got some organic mango chunks. These were such a great price over there. I got these for my cyclical keto days. This is for my regular keto days. Strawberries are keto guys just in moderation and love these organic strawberry ones for smoothies. Something new I have not hauled is organic steamable chopped kale. I got that because the man's power blend I love so much was out of stock and I just figured I can make my own because it has kale in it and this will last longer being it's frozen for fishermen's eggs or any bowls that I make. The boys love these Kashi Go protein waffles and there is still a dollar and 50 cent I bought a rebate. I think you could submit it up to three times on all the flavors which makes that a pretty decent price and again with the Kashi not everything but a lot of their stuff is pretty decent ingredients and the boys like it. Now I cannot get over the price on this great value freezer guard double zipper bags. It's 60 bags and it's less than $3. That's crazy. So I'm totally out. I got this last time. It lasts forever, but that price is even better than Sam's Club. So I'll always get it over at Walmart. Got something new. This is the Lysol brand new day click gel. Y'all know I usually get the scrubbing buddies one or whatever, but I got this one instead. We're going to give it a try. It was a pretty decent price and um, I'm going to test it out. I'll let you guys know if I liked it or not. So that is everything we got at Walmart for our online grocery pickup for about 80 bucks. And then also at Sam's Club for our little pickup for about $35. Whole Foods haul because my store has not gotten a truck in over a week because of all the cold weather craziness. So this is what we were able to get. They did not have my $1.99 bag spinach, but this is fine. This is frozen and I've been cooking it down anyway and not eating spinach raw right now. So this is gonna work perfectly. The organic whole leaf spinach of Whole Foods brand, pretty good price for that as well. Make sure you're getting organic when getting spinach guys because it's a part of the dirty dozen and it's really bad. Same thing with any type of lettuce. So I've got the organic hearts of romaine. They had three of these left and these don't look that great, but it'll do us for side salads this week week just fine. I got the hubby some pizza blend. This is a Whole Foods brand. This is the mozzarella provolone Asiago fresh cheese shreds for our pizza night. He requested that. He's not liking the cheeses that I'm using per se. So I got that for him and he doesn't mind the, what is it? The cellulose for the caking agent, but you want to try to avoid bag when possible. Y'all know I usually don't buy that, but he requested that. I got something new. This is the Bio Nature Organic Fruit Spread Strawberry Crafted in Italy no cane sugar. What I appreciate from all of their jellies or spreads is it's all organic ingredients is what you want. And it's sweetened with apple juice, natural fruit pectin, and that's it. And so it does have some sugar in it guys, but compared to some of your regular jellies and jams that have all the added sugars, they're horrible. So if you're looking for a good replacement for your family that is not keto per se, this might be a good option for you. Y'all know I like the good, good jam, but this one was on sale cheaper than that one. So that's why I went with it. And I'm making my blueberry keto jam soon. I ran out and the boys absolutely loved it. And I want to film that and bring that to you for a recipe video. Now all the Kalina was on sale for how much guys? This was on sale for a buck 47 each. It was a last chance thing. I posted it on my Whole Foods Wasted Instagram page. So make sure you're following me over there in real time to see deals and last chance saving stuff. So I got the Strawberry Rosé. I haven't tried this one before, but they had four. And yes, I picked up all four because I love Kalina so much. It's a woman-owned company and they're usually $4 a piece. So to get them for $1.47, 
I stocked up. I eat these on my cyclical keto days. They are dairy-free, vegan, paleo for anyone that's watching that's not keto. They're delicious, hands down, so flavorful and the best dairy-free yogurt I've ever had, hands down. I needed some strawberries and their strawberries were reasonably priced, $3.99. I didn't think was bad for the Driscoll's. My Sam's Club, everything else is out of strawberries and a lot of stuff because of all the cold stuff. So I was grateful to even get those. So that's everything we got at Whole Foods this week. Small haul because my store was wiped of everything. February 22nd through the 28th meal plan. Cannot believe we're wrapping up February already, guys. It's crazy. So I flip-flopped these two dinners. I did this on, I'm gonna do this tonight when I'm filming on Tuesday, and I did this yesterday. So we'll start with this, what we had on Monday, which was mahi-mahi grilled on the Blackstone Grill over broccoli with some fried eggs, some hummus, and some goat cheese. It was a huge bowl. I post all my meals in real time over on Instagram. So like I said earlier, don't forget to follow me over there. So fresh, so clean, so good. So tonight, instead of doing spaghetti and chicken meatballs with like the natural heaven keto noodles, I'm just not feeling it because we had something similar not too long ago. I'm still gonna make the chicken meatballs, but I'm going to make like meatball sandwiches on the unbun buns that are keto friendly with some flackers and hummus on the side. I'm just feeling like a sandwich tonight. That sounds really good. Wednesday is gonna be wing Wednesday. I haven't had wings in a couple weeks and that's one of my favorite things with some green beans on the side. Thursday, we're gonna do pizza night. And again, we're gonna use those zero Zero carb life pizza crust. They're chicken pizza crust and the macros are crazy. I featured them in a couple of videos to so make sure that your notifications are clicked so you watch and you can see other things besides just grocery hauls if you're just a grocery haul watcher. Then Friday, we're either going to do steak night as always because it's my one week where I'm allotting myself beef while on Mediterranean keto. If you're doing Mediterranean keto, y'all, you can do pork and beef. It's just something that I restricted myself for the 75 hard challenge. Or we're going to go out to eat and do fajita. Um, we're feeling fajitas. We haven't been out in a while, so that's what we're gonna do if we don't do them at home. Saturday is always my shipwreck night, which means that we are gonna go through whatever we have left on hand and just make a big plate of whatever leftovers. And then Sunday is my cyclical keto night. We're gonna be doing tacos, chicken tacos with sweet potato fries. I haven't done a taco and sweet potato fry in a while, and that was my jam if you watch those videos too, so I'm gonna bring that back. Typical snacks as always, and then lunches are always whatever protein that I make on the Blackstone, which has been mahi-mahi, tuna steaks, chicken, and then I make charcuterie boards or big salads, and that's what I've been having for lunch, and y'all know the breakfast is on repeat as always. So that's the meal plan for this week, wrapping up February. So that's this week's grocery haul and meal plan. Please give it a huge thumbs up if you look forward to these videos here on my channel every single week. I will be having a huge Sam's Club monthly. I can't believe February is already over. Oh my gosh. I feel like I just went to Sam's for our monthly trip. But we need some things, of course, as always. So next week I will have the Sam's Club plus whatever other stores if we can find anything, if they're back stocked. So it'll be a big one next week to get us all prepped and ready for March. Thank y'all so much for watching. If you are new, make sure to hit hit that subscribe button down below so you're notified when I post that video next week and all my other weekly grocery hauls. Y'all have an amazing day and an awesome week and we'll see y'all in the next video. Bye y'all.